Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and I've finally been able to put Duke Nukem Forever down long enough to record an episode or two. So, I guess sit back and, uh, you know, enjoy what uh, I normally do. What I will be doing this time is Shrapnel City on, obviously, the Come Get Some difficulty. First level is Raw Meat. We're now back on Earth. So, we're no longer Space Duke. So, first thing to do, run to this store on the right. Look at that beautiful Devastator. is the first weapon they give you. You know something's up when they do that. Run and jump off the balcony. You know, and try and fight the lag with, you know, like I'm doing here. Whoa. Blow up already, you piece of sh- There we go. Grab the large medikit and jump into the water. Pick up the pipe bombs, but be very- What the? Fine, we'll blow up the sharks with it. Sorry, but the, the sharks needed to die. I don't even understand what happened there, but I'm kind of wondering. Because that pipe bomb just kind of rolled back at me, you know? Not cool. Not cool. Blow up the turret. We're going to blow up this other one down here from a long distance. Oh yeah, no more turret. Epic firing maneuver. Pipe bomb into the crack in the wall. Come up here. Look, you made an octopus. Who dares fire at me? You know what? Just because I can't. Well, obviously that's not gonna work. Uh, where'd you come from? Die already, jeez. <clears throat> Once you uh, walk to pick up that one bullet clip that I picked up, this is what happens. However, you can throw a pipe bomb in here and you can blow the turret up in the floor. Yes, Duke, you sure did. Another not secret area, but you can get a jetpack from there. Here's your first secret, though. Jump up and run forward. And then jump back out. Second secret. As you can see, this switch here. Not supposed to actually show up, but for some reason it does. We'll just, uh, you know, use the crotch of a poster. You know, I mean, obviously. Third secret. Jump in and jump out. Look at that. Explosions everywhere. So we have four secrets. Now I'm going to try something different here. Yeah, I'm gonna try and not kill a single babe through here. Holy shit. Get off of me. Where'd he go? There we go. Alright, so. So far, not a single babe dead. One down. Two down. Hey, we're... He's not out here? Oh, well, run out here and pick up the ammo for the shotgun. And this last one here. Just 
Hide. Soak up the hit for the lovely babes. You know, because they're lovely babes. Like this one here. No, actually, I like the ones that hang from the ceiling. I think it's a nice artistic touch. Alright, so we have a key card now. We can come in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the shrinker first. Yeah, Shrinker's really handy there. See this Exotica poster? You can jump inside of it and end up in a completely useless teleporter. It literally doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't do anything special. Interrupt my singing, you stupid pig cops. Fine. Alright, let's do some singing. Hey, that must be Exotica. Well, let's sing. Born to be wild. Yeah, don't quit your day your day job, Duke. Well, look at this. A moving water dish. Hey, is that a pipe bomb and a leg? Steroids, atomic health, devastator ammo. Isn't there shrinker ammo somewhere? There it is. We actually have product placement. Jack Daniels. Mmm. I've actually been drinking some of that lately. Nice Jack and a Coke never hurt anybody. Put your hand on the handprint. And pick up a freeze thrower. Crouch down here. By the way, something pretty cool. Push me. Well, we can do just that. And we're gonna blow monsters up in a big way. Large medikit. Hey, there's some ammo. Shut the doors and pick up some armor. Did that thing fall off the door frame? Cool. Jump up into the thing. Yeah, you can pick up a laser trip bomb. And that just takes you back out here, so it's not much of a, you know, circle there. Pick up the atomic health. And we're going to need to drop down in this sink, which is actually a big pit. So much for a sink, huh? Open that up, but as soon as you do, come back up here, catch a quick breath, drop back down. Alright, quickly hop back up here before you start suffocating. Alright, so once you actually take care of the octobrains that are down here, Make sure you keep switching weapons because uh, picking up any new ammo will actually cause you to force switch weapons for some reason. Is that all of it? Yeah, I think that's actually all of them. Alright, so we're going to press this button and pick up our blue key card. Come back up here where we're ambushed from the corner up here. Alright, so we've got all the secrets. Now let's just run to the exit here. Which is actually back through here. 
Whoa! I actually forgot about you guys. You can open the grate here, and you know you can actually get up there if you really need the ammo. If he happens to drop anything, that is, you can get up here. What you want to do here is run to the top and get in the face of these guys. And if you look out here, you'll actually see that... You didn't die the first time? Whatever. Really? Just die. Anyways, that's the end of Raw Meat. A difficult opening map, for sure. It's pretty painful. I mean, they give you a Devastator as your first weapon. So that really should say something about the rest of the episode. It's gonna hurt. But I think we can manage. It's not actually a big map, but there's a lot of backtracking going on, and there's a lot of secrets that aren't actually secrets like the jetpack and the little alcove where the sentry drone and the turret are where you can pick up some shotgun shells you know just to name a few examples but then we go back to the crude routes where you know you've got the karaoke bar with the hot asian or presumably hot asian and of course you know you have to kill everything in there too so anyways that's uh that's raw meat in a nutshell We'll pick back up on Bankroll, Episode 3, Level 2. I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and until next time, take care and have fun.